It's day seven, that's day seven, is December something, and it's day seven, hey there one. This is Al Cow doing the Christmas thing, I shouldn't be having two envelopes today. But one of them is late, and unfortunately, while having late things in the past has happened prior year, uh, this year I, like, I would still get them in time, just after the box, but not this time, but I mean, hey, we'll... We'll handle that whenever it happens, so for now, day seven, I got myself an envelope from Mayo the Hench Fox, and once again, using my ability of feeling things, uh, this is not merely a letter, because there's like an object in there. So let's get this open, using my forbidden family technique of just doing this, yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> look, if I was smart, I would routinely have these pre-open before starting, and I consistently refuse to do that. It's not like I refuse to do it, because that would imply it being a choice, I just don't. Oh, I remember. A little something that resembled the sad all like I remember this from a prior advent. And it was so cool. It was from Mayo. Okay. Okay. The Panapon's most favorite Rao Cow playthrough of the year 2023. Oh geez. Okay. Uh, there's that many. Oh, I remember this. I enjoyed his crazy Paper Mario blow everything up playthrough and the silly energy of Here Comes Nico. Uh, says went and good vibes, frog friends. Yeah, that wasn't Here Come Ni uh, Here Comes Nico. Okay, no, this is a, our hack. Was the one where I was dropping everything to watch a new video. Can't wait for the let's play of Um. From what I've seen, looks even more insane. It's no yum, but it stands proudly by itself. I think I am always going to vote our hack. I vibe with the smaller and much less grand scale of it, and it reminds me of my own work. Thank you. Wow, is it really? Did you really, like, get in touch with that many people? That seems, like, completely nuts. Um, okay. I gotta give it the blast score. Of all the picks Rao Cow could have chosen, it's absolutely the most Rao Cow. You know? Destroy the world and all that. It was also a treat in how unpredictably nonsense the game could get. That is true. Also, thanks for showing me how dead, badass Black Knight actually was this whole time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. My, I keep being afraid that I'm gonna pick two cards at once. I... Hopefully it doesn't happen by- if it happens, by accident. Bangers! Easily! We loved how weird that game was, and while it was, like, extremely jank at times, it only kind of added to the weirdness of it all- Oh no, yeah, you cannot distinguish Vanger from its jank. It is impossible. Can one stuck in Tori? Ah, I keep thinking. Keep thinking I'm picking up two, uh, two cards. Uh, my favorite is still Vangers, but Cave Story gets an honorable mention for making me actually think about that game again, and how it's still a fun indie game, but it has its warts and it isn't perfect. Watching Cow play it, especially the original, has made me want to try making a game again. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, that is high praise for my series of anything else. This one's getting hard to read. My favorite LP of the year has got to be Vangers. While it may have been a nightmare to play at times, I really enjoyed the glimpse into a world I probably never would have seen otherwise. Really felt like we were passengers in Rao Cao's little mecco, zooming around aimlessly in a hostile wasteland, just as confused and intrigued as him. Game might, be in, game might have been hell to play, but it was a great experience. See prompt? I look forward to every new episode each day. I should have read that in Australian. Mea culpa. What's going on here? <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. Just gonna scan over that one and hopefully y'all can see it. 
pretty good. Yep. Hopefully my finger isn't in the way. Uh, Melody might just be the number one item for a Rao Cow ever. Nothing says face mashing a guy better than a charm that lets you ignore some hits at a decent amount of time. So thank you, Melody, for being Rao Cow's guardian angel. Why is the focus so bad? May you never be forgotten, Banana Dwarf. No, no, you you got it. You said it. Oh, jeez. These are emotional. Like, they shouldn't be, but here we are. Maybe maybe I shouldn't say they shouldn't be. I want to go for Blast Core. <laughs> Quoted. Oh, just just quote an excerpt here. I want to go for Blast Core. Just having fun watching Rao Cow destroy the world and everything within, all the while being fully open about the nostalgia. Well, I try to be. Like there's a uh, uh, um, uh, there's a distinct difference in feel like between a game I've never played and a game I know very well and gotta use that gotta use that feel. Uh, locking in our act as my favorite as much as it gave you some trouble here and there the game ain't for a fun funny and inspiring watch on a whole and I'm extremely grateful you shared it with us says Rixie. Yeah, our hack was a good time. I don't remember having a rough time. I remember some levels being harder, though. But I, I don't remember, like, it, it either ever making me feel bad. Yeah, our hack is probably my top game right now. If only because Bitter 5 feels too much at time for, for whatever reason. Fair enough. Fair enough. That is fair to say. If you want Mario, I feel like our hack, the series, is better because Bitter Fight is barely a Mario. It's its own thing that wears a Mario-like suit. WarioWare Mega Micro Games literally got us to spend like a week or two fixing that game's Mario Wiki articles when it was set to be unfeatured. Wow! Vangers is still our top dog, but damn. WarioWare is a close second. Okay, that is... <laughs> oh, well, hello there. That just kind of odd little presence. I mean, I get it. Is that original art made for this? Like, there's not a name or anything. Let me s like maybe be behind. See, see there, I picked up too. Okay, art. Why is it here? I mean, maybe in that maybe Mayo got this as a response for one of these. It's possible. Uh, Map Fab Three. There's obviously not as much of it, and not all entries worked well as is expected for a contest. And I still thought it was very fun overall. Also, can't forget Doctor Bone. Doctor Bone <laughs> with his with his skeletons. I kind of forgot a lot of what he did, but that was a really good fight. Uh, hard agree on that. In addition to Vangers, naturally, I personally have enjoyed quite a few the most. Hero Core! What a pleasure to see this oldie but a goldie still carry its weight an extra mile. A plumber in four seasons! What a delightful run, especially after the metagame heavy betterified V. This is making me wonder when these was asked. It's at least uh, concurrent with Plumber. The Messenger and Mirror's Edge. I suppose I just like watching the parkour with good visual and music stories through Alcal's prism. Hey, that's you. You respond to yourself. <laughs> Which, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland is a fantastic game overall. This is important groundwork for the series and it was great to see Rao get a taste of modern Kirby. And I enjoyed my taste of modern Kirby. I like how also the bonus game bared some teeth. It's it's interesting playing difficult Kirby. Like what does that mean, right? Mine was Paper Mario, a game I like very much. It was amusing seeing him power plus and bombet his way through everything. And I've never seen anyone play it like that before, says Mdes. <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I got a little spookier. <laughs> I also enjoyed Gravity Circuit. Uh, I'll also give honorable mentions to Paper Mario and Ape Escape. It was wonderful watching Rao Cow play through these games 
from my childhood. I, I see that's something I like to experience is see other people play for the first time my you know games that they've played before I mean a lot of my let's plays are just that but like I like to watch that too and so like that's why I'm always happy to provide because it can be fun <laughs> the best the best kind of answer uh, one word is worth at least a couple images as they've never said that is an act extremely wrong quote Apart from Bestified, Mirror's Edge stands out in my mind, both for the thought process of the platforming section and the slapstick of kicking cops in the face. <laughs> and Sentinel's like, oh, yeah, Mirror's Edge was a fun one. Oh, man, it's all this feedback. I'm not used to it. <laughs> Shane's all like, I feel like even with its negatives, Paper Mario was my favorite LP of the year so far. It was neat to see how Rao chose to go through it, and it's one of my favorite games. Fair enough. I'm glad that my Paper Mario experience was unique, and I'm glad it was broadcast to a couple of people. Ape Escape. I'm not great at understanding how the royal wheel thing works and decided against participating in it because of it. This was the one game I want to see Rao Cow play and, well, he did. Thanks, Rao Cow. It's one of my favorites growing up. <laughs> well, check it out. You know, there's another big one. Some, you know, sometimes things just kind of work out that way, Neo7. I don't think, I don't think the real thing is that complicated, but... Ah, uh, yeah, so I was wondering where Betterify would be in all this, and turns out they're all on their own card. Again, I am not going to be reading out loud all this. Uh, I'm going to let y'all take uh, a gander. Some of them are upside down, which makes a lot of sense to me. That was the bed refi corner, although it is within four corners because it's inside a rectangle made of paper. Rao Kao playing WarioWare was an absolute delight. His reactions to the... Wait, what? To the outright... Okay. See, I thought that was the end of a sentence because the next word is in capital, but it's not. It's just one sentence. Rao Kao playing WarioWare was an absolute delight. His reactions to the outright weirdness of the game were always wonderful screams money, I'm assuming. I don't know why you particularly. <laughs> Honorary mention to Ape Escape, which was just all around a nice time with a game from my childhood and God Hand, which was just a lot of fun seeing his inevitable approach to the combat. What's inevitable about custodian style, Sentinel? <laughs> did you did you foresee custodian style happening? Spend is the credit. Special thanks to Susie hosting the whole box. Me for hosting the box. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Millie Minaj for the LP references sheet. Okay. And the people here, you know, y'all, y'alls, uh, reading this, brushing your teeth. I hope you did. Don't make my old lie. Ah, uh, that's really cool. Ah, okay. Okay. And here we are. So, like I said, there's a possibility that at some point I skipped a page because it was like stuck to the back of another. I try to be very careful. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, uh, I, th I think I got them all. And uh, th like this... There's different kinds of gifts, and uh, this is a very, very personal one. And, uh, you know, it's a combination might of everyone's thoughts and cheers. And, you know, as much as I feel like my community is a fairly, you know, positive one, it's rare to just kind of like have all of that sandblasted at once. Like, 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 I, I rarely, I feel, get specific. Like, I don't, I, I mean, it happens. Like, people will say, you, you know, but like, it's just, it's a lot at once. 
all at once, concentrated, and it it's it's a lot, and it's it's a lot, but good, right? Like you get what I'm saying, like in band, and yeah. <laughs> <That's... laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mayo, for organizing all of this, like for real. And um, see you guys in a second for the digital half. Do 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 do. All right, we. I can now attest that we are December nineteen. I don't know dates. Who knows the date we're at, other than people who have to put in the date all day long, depending on their job. That can happen. But for me, I don't know though. <laughs> all right, hey, hey, look at that. We got three Steam ambushes today. I mean, one of them is gonna be. I mean, we're out of pixel remasters. So what's gonna happen on a Final Fantasy front, huh? And the SA Jewers, who knows what's going to happen there. And we also have an ambush ambush. And that, we're starting, what? What the hell? I just got suddenly very wet, very wet sort of respond to the game. Uh, okay, Rao Cow. Thank you for helping me through grad school with your daily uploads. Have a creepy game. Explosion Neganote. Squirrel stapler. Hunt squirrels, staple them to a corpse, and meet God. I cannot uh, suggest either of these activities. Can you say either to three? <laughs> I do not. I don't like the realistic teeth on that squirrels. Oh, I don't like it. All right, that is an upsetting thumbnail. So we're just gonna click on this thing here. Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah, as advertised. Uh, <laughs> what was that polygon mess? <laughs> oh, that was a that was a long trailer. All right. Um, <laughs> we, we we got everything we needed to know. Did we? You know, you know, no, no, I think some trailers are longer than they needs to. And it's good to, you know, straight to the point. It, this trailer says exactly what the blurb says. Shoot polygon squirrels that have, like, photo texture on them. Put them over. It didn't look like a corpse. It just looked like a red, like, shape on the wall. And then apparently you meet God. They didn't show that part, but, like, they wouldn't show that in the trailer. No, I can't just say that. Some trailers would show that, and you know, it's just, that's what I mean. Art of trailer is an art that a lot of people do not understand. So I've been wondering what FF7, how, how, what that gift would be, because it's a game I already owned on Steam. Amya's all like, cow cow, the prequel to the hit classic Final Fantasy Vi. Uh, FF7 had spin-offs with the initial AC, BC, CC, and DC. Oh, D D O C. I don't know if I know these. Um, Advent Children. I don't know. Crisis Core. I don't know if I know BC and DOC. D Dirge of Cerberus. What's BC? I mean, before before Christ, <laughs> spin off with the initials, you know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to try anything with BC because I don't know. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is a remaster of Crisis Core, featuring updated graphics, combat system, and soundtrack. Follow tales of soldier operate of Zach Fair. What a dumb name. <laughs> discovers the secrets of Shinra's dark experiment. You can see, uh, you know, that guy from Smash Brothers and that other guy from Smash Brothers. It's right there. Just using all the celebrity gossips to add to their thumbnail. I feel like I'm mashing concepts together in a way that doesn't all make all that much sense. So, like, what's a Crisis Core? Like, what what is a game? Like, I don't know. Ooh, I heard about this. Okay, I know, yeah, no, yeah, I've heard about this. On the seventh day of Christmas, you received free drinks for a year, claims S.A. Jewer. 
But is that true? Sunset Overdrive transforms an open world apocalypse into your tactical playground. Zip, grind, and wild run across Sunset City with an unconventional arsenal, hyper ability, agility, unique weapons, and customizable abilities deliver an explosive and irre irreverent adventure in the end times. Like, that was like a super early game, um, right? For the something? Wow, I am just <laughs> such a wit today. Yeah, nine years ago, it was like um, for a X, like an early Xbox game of some kind. Uh, which one do I go for? I don't know. This one, E3, trailer und gameplay, uh, gameplay maybe. Why am I overthinking this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want teaser. No, that's gonna be good enough. Warehouse district. I got one of those, maybe. Not personally. See, Xbox E3, it says up there in the corner. I see. And see, like, like they, sh they start with this, like, yeah, like, that was the point. Like, they started with this, like, gritty, wartime, everything is brown game. And then, whoops, something's gonna something. And Somniac's like, get out of here, lamos. It doesn't color exists. It's like, what? Uh, I mean, I get it. As a reaction to video game trends at the time, I get it. And I cannot blame them. Uh, I'm assuming this is not gameplay, though. Oh, he says, ouch, with his blood. It takes a lot of work to do that. Okay, I was hoping they'd be, like, gameplay, though. Show me the game! Like, I get it. You've made your point. Game show. But not a game show. I don't think it's gonna... Is it? There's a lot of style going on here, though. I appreciate that. You and your crate are safe now. So you get out! You made a crate joke. Oh, hey. Welcome to spectacular Sunset City. Why is the audio so bad? Okay. Here's the situation. Uh-huh. Contaminated energy drink has turned everyone into mutants. Okay, sure. There are survivors doing whatever they can to get by. But some of them are dicks, attacking others for their stuff. I kind of get it. Ignore that one. But it's not all bad. All this place needs is a hero. One who doesn't just survive, but does it... Is your hurt cut on purpose? I love how there's unamanapeas, those. Me. That is cool. Not me? Oh, you! Can you survive the many dangers? Can you help others survive? Can I mean, probably not. Can you? For the love of God, can you? Yeah, this is pretty aggressive, but I, I, like I said, I feel like I get it. I wish it showed more of the game, though. Like, what's the game like? I have no idea. And you know, my policy is one trailer, so I don't know, like, I know what the game is about, but I don't know, like, what's the game? <laughs> what do you do? What, what, like, what do you be? I have no answers for that. I'm gonna have to, like, play the game to find out or something. But I do dig the vibe they're going for. Like, it feel I feel like it works. I just wonder what the game is. But I think this the point was like that was like an announce. But I feel like they should call it then an announcement trailer and not like just trailer trailer. Ah, <sighs> trailers! Trailers are hard. Trailers are hard. I just hurt my knuckle there on my table. It happens. Thank you, SA viewers, Nega Notes, and uh, Amya. Uh, rounding out the event today, uh, tomorrow's the 20th. I feel like 20th is like, wow, Christmas is, like, is basically there, right? At least me now, I feel, uh, perhaps as a child, distance between 20 and 25 was huge, but as an adult, it might as well just be the same days.